Hello and welcome to the Daily Oracle Card Show. This is for um, Tuesday, May 13th, 2014. Um, these, again, are my two playing card decks, and I'll put information about them below and also a free PDF that you can use with any playing card deck. It, it just matches the suits and the numbers. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. We have Birdie Baby, uh, Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Earth. I think that one's my favorite. Ooh, we got another Ace, Da Vinci, Ace of Fire, Ace of Clubs. And, oh, we just picked this one yesterday. So this is a little pumpkin. Um, <clears throat> well, the Ace of Diamonds... Um, it's about, this is Birdie Baby, and it's about things all working synchronistically together and um, something happening that is almost magical because of a sequence of events or all the right elements in the right place. Um, it's like uh, the creation of the universe, everything had to be perfect. You know, the conditions had to be right for the creation of the universe, for the creation of life. Um, you know, the creation of the cell or even um, the fact that we can have life on planet Earth because we're a certain distance away from the sun and, um, but not too far, not too close. And, um, and actually things really do come together magically where things just kind of fall into place and things work out and you get what you need for um, the creation of something when it's meant to be. So um, the story with her was uh, she, I had chickens sitting and uh, they got bored or I don't know, I forget what happened. Maybe I, I got confused on the egg collection or something and then wasn't sure if there was a, you know, how, how long it had been sitting or whatever. Uh, so I, it was dead of winter in New Mexico and I put her under a light, you know, and I mean I had no expectation of this egg hatching. Actually, I had a, like maybe five or six eggs. And um, and this one happened to, I was moving them one day, and um, it happened to kind of fall a little bit and crack the egg a little bit. And I, I heard her inside peeping, and um, I, I let her try and get out for, you know, a good, I don't know, almost 24 hours I, I was trying to see if she was going to make it on her own because I you know I it's not good to help a chicken out of a egg if you you know if you can help it because they they need to um do it right with their their um I don't know readiness of even like in the last couple days their their body and the um the veins and everything kind of um get get separated from the the there's a membrane on there so you have to it's pretty tricky anyway um i i did have to help her out and um and then she had the membrane stuck on her and she was really bloody mess and you know it wasn't i didn't know if she was going to make it but um i she did and i have her today and um she's a very special chicken she She's just like her mom, who I had for seven years before she died, and um, they're they're like little twins. They're cute. So, anyway, um, just when something's meant to be, things happen to to make make sure that they come into the world, and that the events happen that need to happen. So um, the second one is about the uh, Ace of Fire. This is Da Vinci. I named him after Leonardo Da Vinci. Um, he's a really intelligent, talented chicken. I mean, he he has excellent social skills, and um, but you know the real person. He, I mean, he was an inventor, an artist, a um, a guide who's just a brilliant person in many different ways. And um, he served royalty, but 
you know, in time, it's like I don't, I don't remember the, the royal family he served. It, it was him that made the mark on humanity, and him that we, um, who changed, who changed our perception of people and history and the world. And um, you know, he was the one who made the major contributions to to the human race. So. Um, you know, even even if you're not in the limelight or you know um, the royalty yourself, doesn't mean that that um, you're not appreciated or that that you're you're not really making your mark and having your influence on the world around you. And um, and then the last one is the um, little pumpkin again. So. There's a card of abundance and um, and some project or something coming into being. It's really kind of a continuation of yesterday's reading. Um, I will draw another card. So we have um, Singa. It's funny we had her a couple of days ago, and um, she is the magical lion that is um, it protects and um, it gives a lot of strength and bravery to to whatever you do. Singa used to travel all over the yard and I mean there were so many predators I couldn't believe that she is still my chicken <laughs> but she would take take her little friends out for these big long adventures and I, I would every day I would think I was going to lose her, but um, she she just was a little adventurous chicken. So, and she she was always protected. So, um, and I'll draw one more. And we have uh, Kung, which is nine of fire, and um, this is really about coming together with with other people. I think a lot of times. When, when things are meant to happen, um, you know, there's other people involved or other people supporting you. And um, if, you know, even if you don't have someone supporting you, you know, in finances or, you know, however, however, you know, even in, if they're not getting, giving you practical support, um, just to have people who acknowledge you, that's a, that's a form of support. Uh, so, um Anyway, Kung is is represents um, the Kung Bushmen in in um, Africa, and they they live a very simple life and a very meaningful life connected with um, the universe around them, and they they have um, just a, a beautiful way of connecting with each other and in ritual and providing for themselves with the the support of each other and and um, connecting to the universe and they have amazing um, healing systems and um, and uh, medicinal uh, practices both for mind and body so anyway um, I hope this was helpful um, just Overall, looking at it, it looks like um, things are coming together in in a perfect way. New things are coming about, and um, look look for that support just for for your own confidence and comp confirmation. And um, you know, have have your adventurous spirit and and um, use use your skills and talents to to enjoy uh, what what you set out to do. So. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks.